taken a look on the outside about the compost and now we are inside to look at the production of these beautiful mushrooms that come from JM Farms. Joining us is Mackenzie Coons who's going to share that process with us. So we were outside and we saw the trays getting filled with compost and they had the spawn put in there. So tell us a little bit after that process. So when it comes in, it goes into a spawn room where it stays for 15 days. And during that, those 15 days that mycelium is allowed to colonize and mature, um, on day 15, we pull all of those trays out and they're ready to be cased. And by cased, I mean, we put this um, mixture of peat moss and lime on top and it goes into a setback room, which is where we are now. It'll stay here for 12 days. And during that 12 days, we induce pinning so we're encouraging that mushroom to grow up through that casing layer. So what we're seeing, this white stuff, this isn't bad fungus or anything, right? That's the mycelium? Yeah, it's just excess mycelium. You can see that this area doesn't have any casing soil or casing layer on it. Um, if you were to leave spawn trays in a room with no casing layer indefinitely, you would never get a mushroom. Okay. They require a medium to grow up through. Okay, so the mushrooms are gonna grow up through that casing. What, is there any environmental factors that cause that? Is it pinning? Is the term? Yeah, so we're, uh, we're worried about temperature during this point, CO2, fresh air. Um, so gradually we're gonna kind of walk our temperature up. Um, and then on day five, we're gonna lower that and increase our fresh air. And that sends a signal to that mycelium that it's time to start pinning up through that casing layer. So are you trying to recreate an environmental that yeah. they would experience outside? Yeah, we're and... basically mimicking mother nature at night. So, uh -huh. you know, you go to bed one day, there are no, you know, there are no mushrooms. You wake up the next day and you've got mushrooms in your yard. Okay. That's essentially what happens here. Okay, so after they've been pinned, what's the next step? Yeah, so they'll stay in this room for 12 days. On day 12, they'll either transfer up to our front growing hall or to a satellite farm where they will um, stay for until day 34 and just finish out their growing cycle. So, so once we start seeing mushroom buttons coming up, what, what happens then? Yeah, so this is, this is a day 11. On day 15, we will typically start harvesting and then it's pretty fast and furious. Mushrooms double in size every 24 hours. Typically we're harvesting on a crop every single day. So, okay. Do you just get one harvest off of that tray? No, or? we get three. So uh, we have three breaks. Um, on day 18, we will strip every mushroom off the bed. We'll do that again on day 26 and then again on day 33. Okay, generally. so quite a few mushrooms are coming off. Yes, it's important to have really healthy compost. All right, and so you guys also package them all here, slice them, and then provide them to yeah. both restaurants and grocery stores. Ideally, what's picked will be packed and shipped and in our customers' hands within 24 to 48 hours. Okay, so from compost to finished product, can you tell us a little bit of how long that takes? From start of compost to your first mushroom, you're roughly three months. All right. So, so. you have to kind of plan ahead for your, some of your busy seasons. Oh, do you absolutely. guys have seasons with mushrooms? <laughs> well, it, it's a year-round crop, but we do ramp up production for Christmas, Mother's Day, Thanksgiving, Easter, things like that. So we do that three months in advance. So a lot of those family gathering holidays. Yes. All right. Thank you, Mackenzie. And it's been exciting to see this whole production. And next time you're joining your family for a family holiday, don't forget to enjoy some JM mushrooms. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.